What's up everyone? In this week's video, I'm going to show you why you get so angry and I'm going to do it quickly. So stay tuned. You want to hear something mind blowing? The outside world, people in this world, they're not making you angry. Literally nothing is going on in the world that's making you angry. And that statement, I'm aware, probably just made some people angry. Look, the reality is that the outside world doesn't make us angry. What makes us angry is our view of the outside world. Specifically, we have what I call two different worlds that we live in. One world that we live in is called the cartoon world. That's our world of shoulds. Everybody should be the way I want them to be. People should act the way I want them to act. People shouldn't say the things I don't want them to say. People shouldn't do the things I don't want them to do. And then there's the real world, which is people do things that we don't want them to do. They say things we don't want them to say. They are the way we don't want them to be. As long as we align our expectations with the cartoon world, we're going to be let down. At times, we're going to be really angry. We're going to be heated. But if we can learn to align our expectations with reality, we'll have a much better chance at handling the world. Yes, the world's going to be disappointing at times. Yes, there are going to be people who do things that we don't want them to do and say things we don't want them to say. The more we expect reality, the better prepared we are to handle it. So let's look at it this way. If you were going to run an obstacle course uh, race and there were five obstacles, but you thought that there were going to be four obstacles. And you're told the whole time there are going to be four obstacles. So you get there, you run those four obstacles, and then all of a sudden you come to a fifth obstacle. You're going to feel pretty upset. Like, this isn't fair. This shouldn't be here. I was told there were going to be four. This shouldn't be happening. But the real world is there are five obstacles in that race. Now, let's say you run that race, but this time you really believe that there are six obstacles. Now when you get to the fifth obstacle, you think you have another one to go, but you're actually done. Now, you feel completely differently, but the number of obstacles didn't change. The only thing that changed was your perception of them, your expectation. So when you can learn to align your expectations with reality, you're more prepared for it. So I can hear right now people saying, oh, so I'm just supposed to expect that everything's terrible. No, that's not true at all. In fact, past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior. So I'm not saying everything's going to be horrible and terrible because that's the cartoon world as well. People don't always let you down. People don't always do everything wrong. That's cartoon world real world is sometimes people will let you down sometimes people will say and do things that you don't want them to and other times they won't sometimes they'll do things that you do like and sometimes things will go the way you had hoped that they would go learn to align your expectations with reality the more you can do that the better grip you have on your life the more you're able to handle the obstacles that you will inevitably encounter Hey, if you like this video, please hit subscribe, hit like, but listen to this. I have an anger management workbook now that is available for the general public. Before, this was something that was only hundreds and hundreds of dollars available to clinics, organizations, and now it is available to everyone. So when you click on the link below, I think it might be down in that box down there below the video, you will be able to get this workbook and you're going to get over a hundred original exercises to help you with anger management. And please know that anger is a whole lot more than just anger. It's emotional management. So you're going to get a pretty awesome workbook that I'm real proud of and I'm super proud to share. So check it out. Hey, as always, I wish you much peace.